Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, you have reintroduced the Conyers bill, H.R. 40, correct? I am very grateful that uh, Congressman Conyers thought I would uh, be the member of Congress to bring this bill uh, back again for reintroduction, which was done in last Congress and this Congress. But it ties in to the climate that we're in, which is at least uh, a rising increase of racial incidences. Uh, I don't judge whether someone is a saint or sinner, uh, but I do make the point that it is appropriate to assess the economic and long-range contributions of African Americans or Africans who came here first in 1619, this is the year of the return. And it is juxtaposed against the increasing voter suppression uh, that draws us to also introduce or uh, restore the vote to protect, uh, if you will, uh, Section 5 or to restore Section 5. You know, we should not be ashamed of the fact that uh, America needs to be fine-tuned every every couple of decades or every couple of years. Uh, and uh, it gives me a degree of sadness for people not to understand that uh, the Congress has to fix things uh, and we need to fix and cure voter suppression through the restoration of the Voting Rights Act and the protection of uh, the Section 5, again, restoring it, but also in this climate when so many incidences are happening, but also the economic impasse that is happening uh, with the economy and education and health care as it impacts minority communities, particularly African Americans. The Reparations Commission is an appropriate vehicle to assess this, and I'm very grateful that a number of presidential candidates have said that they support the study, and that's what we want America to understand. It is a study. Being here in Selma, uh, I wanted to be recommitted and inspired as I walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge to say that we must do this. Congressman Shields Jackson, thank you. Thank you for being in Selma as always. Thank you.